Hey friends, I'm Miss Katie and you are John Boy. All right, and today the two of us are going to show you how to make a recipe of tree preserver, Christmas tree preserver, right? Right. So you helped to get the tree. I did. You're about to put the lights on it. I am. You am. You am. And um, he's going to help me. We're going to mix up a recipe because you want to, if you have a live tree, you don't want those needles falling everywhere prematurely. So if you put just plain water, that is liable to not give the uh, tree its nourishment that it needs. And so we want it to keep its needles for at least, a, well, a while, three, four weeks. So stay tuned, and while we're going over here and getting our ingredients together, why don't you hit the subscribe button because, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss a video that we upload. Let's get busy. Okay, friends, so I do have my son John Boy here, and he is going to be an extra pair of hands for me. Is your water boiling? Go ahead and get your water boiling. We've got a little bit, what is it, about half a cup or a few splashes. Doesn't matter how much. We've got some water going and we'll show you why we've got that boiling here in a minute. But it is so important to give your uh, live Christmas tree the nourishment it needs, but you can also use this for fresh cut flowers that you bring in from the, um, you know, the, the grocery store, deli, produce section, or the uh, flower farm, or your own house. And just a tip, if you are bringing those in, like from, I've seen them, you know, at the deli, grocery store, produce sections, make sure you are at least cutting the, the ends off, um, because those have sat there and kind of gotten dried out a little bit, even if they had them in water. So cut those off um, before you put them in your liquid and before you arrange them. But today we're talking primarily about our Christmas tree. So what we're doing, we're actually going to start here with this half gallon jar. And uh, we're going to drop a penny in. Hey, why don't we bring them in so they can see closer what we're doing. Should we do that? Okay. All right, so go ahead, John Boy, and drop that penny into this half gallon jar. Yay. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about two different... Um, recipes. And I will write those on our website. I will put a link down in the description box of this video. So you will have that information to refer to. Uh, but, so two different, two, two different ways to do this. And last year I used Sprite or 7-Up, a can of it in the water with the penny. And that worked just fine. Now the penny provides copper and nutrients for the tree and it is optional actually. Um, so you could do that. You could put one can of Sprite per a total of a gallon of water. This is a half gallon today. But you could put one can for a gallon and plus your optional penny. But today I don't have Sprite. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to make a sugar solution. We've got the water in here and it's just hot enough so that we can dissolve two teaspoons of sugar. So there's a teaspoon in there. Just put two teaspoons in there. Put the lid back on that. And we're just gonna start to dissolve the sugar. So let's talk about why we would want a tree preservative other than, you know, to keep the needles on. Well, it is a food source. You need a food source, especially for a Christmas tree. You're wanting it to last, you know, several days or weeks. Another thing is what you're adding acidifies hard water. So whether you're using the bleach that we're going to talk about or the Sprite or the 7-Up or the citrus soda, um, it, it acidifies the water. And by doing this, it allows the tree or the flowers or whatever you're using it for to absorb the nutrients in the water and also provides extra nutrients like we met, mentioned with the um, copper penny actually. So also this acts as a disinfectant um, so that you don't uh, develop mold or fungi. Are you a fungi? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you don't develop mold or fungi or algae or anything like that in your tree or in your water, in your tree water, um, during Christmas time. All right. So that has dissolved. We'll just 
let that cool for a second. So what we're going to do is, I'm actually going to have you, John, just about fill that about halfway or so with tap water. I'm not worried about using Berkey water for this. Alright, we have our half, we've just put some tap water in this, and we're going to put two teaspoons of vinegar and two teaspoons of, chlor of bleach, chlorine bleach. I haven't even opened this. I have this bleach just for, just to say I have a gallon of bleach in the event I ever needed one. I do not use bleach. And because I don't use bleach, my children don't know the safety about bleach, but this is harmful to the eyes. You never want to drink it. And I say that because your Christmas tree preservative needs to be labeled. It will stay longer in the refrigerator. So we definitely need to label it and put it in the back of the fridge or in the garage fridge or somewhere where folks don't accidentally drink it because it's got uh, the bleach in it. Now, if it had the Sprite recipe, we wouldn't be so worried about drinking the food, pre the tree preservative. Yeah, so bleach, John, can be, um, can burn your eyes, burn your skin, and that's one reason I don't use it. But I do have a gallon of it just for... Once in a blue moon, if for some reason we need bleach. All right, and then in this case, it does act as the disinfectant we talked about. All right, so we're going to add two teaspoons of vinegar and two teaspoons of, teaspoons of bleach. Now, these two react with each other. They cause very, very harmful uh, vapors. So you would never want to put these two in your jar first. You, that's why we have our water in there first. So... It'll be fine once we put our water and then our vinegar and then our bleach. So let's go ahead. You want to do the vinegar? And two teaspoons. You can either, well. That's not going to fit. No, you think you can. You go ahead and do that. Here, we'll use the funnel. And two teaspoons. And we're not baking a cake. It doesn't have to be exactly precise. Just going to kind of dip it down in there to get our two teaspoons of bleach, and that was scant, so I'm going to add a little more. There we go. Now we're going to fill this uh, the rest of the way with water. We're going to give it a stir, and it will be ready to pour uh, in our tree base, and we will do that as needed, just whenever the water is low. We're just pouring that sugar water in there. We did add a little tap water to it to get it to room temp, and we'll get some more water. All right, so this will go ahead and fill up kind of to the neck. This will last in the fridge for a couple of weeks, maybe a little over a couple of weeks, and out of the fridge for about a week. But quite honestly, you're going to use that much in that amount of time. All right, what do you think? Now, we can store it in these jars, but remember what did I say about... Don't drink them. Don't drink it, but how are people going to know? You need a label. Label, label, label. Going to stir, pardon, go ahead. Is it label, not ladle? This is not a ladle, this is a... <laughs> you are a fun guy. <laughs> okay, all right, that is our recipe for tree preservative. I hope you will try it. And now it's time to put on the lights. Who's going to do that? Are you? Are you? I am. You are. Talk to you soon. Don't forget to count your blessings and have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.